Welcome to the magical winter wonderland of Banff. And in this two-part series, we're going to be exploring some of the very best things to see, eat and do in this gorgeous part of the world. And we are getting started right now. Let's go. Canadian cowboys and they're just whizzing past with horses doing backflips on skis. It's awesome. This is crazy. This is unreal. So Banff Town is located within the Banff National Park and you guys it is so so beautiful here and one thing I have to recommend you do is finding somewhere to get up high so you can take in amazing views especially of these mountains. Now to do that I've come up to the Banff gondola and it is gorgeous. I rode the gondola up by myself and even just the ride up here it was so stunning and now I'm up here and I'm surrounded by all these incredible mountain views. It's all snow capped and wintry and gorgeous. They have fires on and of course you can come up all day during the day but I'm here for something they call night rise so I thought we should have a little bit of explore and check it out. Cheesy crab donut. 
The weirdest thing I've ever seen on the menu. Tastes so, so good. That's a must try. Um, all right, I'll try a little bit of mac and cheese. Oh my God. It's all good. And I'll try a little bit of salmon. And then we have to watch James tackle the world's biggest steak. That's really good. I'll try my best here. <laughs> it's so much fries. <laughs> it's so much fries. Yeah, I'll help you with a fry. Yeah. Let's get into the medium rare. Medium rare. Nice. <laughs> Nicely done. A little bit of sour cream. A little bit of chai. It's good. Delicious. It's got a nice crispy burnt layer on the outside and then soft and juicy in the middle. Good morning you guys. <laughs> Look at this beautiful spread. <laughs> Um, we are starting the day with breakfast at Brazen. Um, this place is really cool. It kind of has like a, what would you say? It looks like a very classic vintage 1920s almost kind of vibe in here. Mm. It's beautiful. The Quite elegant. Beautiful. It's very mm. elegant. And I love all the little details. Like I love the cups and I love the mugs and I love the plates. And the yeah. food has come out and it looks so good. We've just ordered a bunch of stuff to share. So James has got turkey shakes. Turkey shakes, yep. I've got an avocado on toast, which has these insane potatoes on it. They're like so crispy. And then just because we had to, we've got a PB and J French toast. Oh my god! <laughs> All right, Damn let's good. Try, let's try some stuff. Turkey shakes are good. Turkey shakes are very good. Mm -hmm. And I think let's really so. get into this. That looks amazing. Is that a thick piece of brioche? It's just a thick <laughs> piece of brioche. It's really good. Mm -hmm. Get into that after. Mm -hmm. in Rev. It's a small town so you can walk. Oh! <laughs> you can walk they have transfers and all kinds of stuff but we've got a hire car and it's an absolute pimpermobile. Oh my gosh look at it. I feel like Drake. I feel like Drake. This is what Drake's rocking. Oh! So obviously in Australia we drive on a different side of the road on a different side of the car. Yeah. So this is going to be a fun little adventure for the two of us. Um, James is taking up the driving to start with. Oh my gosh. Wish us luck. <laughs> crushing the driving. Look at him. Look at the focus. <laughs> um, we are a couple of hundred meters away from our activity day and at this time James does not know what we're about to do. So I'm going to drop it on him right here right now. We are doing a scenic helicopter flight. Oh! <laughs> Isn't that great? Oh my god. Have you been in a helicopter? Have I been in a helicopter? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I have, I have. Over Sydney, I did a Sydney helicopter okay, ride. Okay, okay. But this is going to be. Helis is us. This is going to be so much cooler. This is going to be so much cooler. I think it's here on the right. Sisters and then over the lakes and it was so beautiful. 
beautiful up there. I was really worried I was going to get motion sick because he goes, no, you're motion sick. Um, and I told Isaac the pilot and he was like, you'll be okay, it's not that bumpy today. And he was right, I was totally fine. You guys, I cannot recommend that highly enough. It's such a good way to see the area. It's so beautiful, right? Yeah, incredible. Yeah, amazing. You get to see a whole, the whole thing. It's like, it's so opens good. up. Yeah, it's so nice. It's yeah. so nice. Like, because when you're here, you're like in it, right? And you're seeing it all up close. But to be able to get up like that and see just how big these mountains are. Yeah. Ah, just makes you appreciate it even more. I love this stand country. They've got the fireplace in the background, mm. red wine, it's snowing outside. Jerry Rafferty on the saxophone. Oh, what more could you <laughs> want in your life? It is so beautiful. Um, now the menu was brunch all day. You can order delicious breakfast classics. And then they have a tasty little lunch option as well. James has got, what have you got? Uh, prime rib sandwich. It looks amazing. It comes out with its own bowl of gravy for dipping. And this garlic aioli? Yeah, that's... Whoa. I've got a club sandwich, but they subbed out chicken and bacon for mushrooms and avocado. For me, if you love chicken and bacon, I'm sure you'll love the original, but um, yeah, this all looks so good. Let's let's eat something. Mmm. Good. Mmm. Yum. <laughs> It's really good food. Some serious eating. <laughs> How's everything tasting? Yeah, it's amazing. So good. Thank you so much. No problem. Do you have everything you need? Mm -hmm. Yeah? For accommodation, we're staying at the Moose Hotel and Suites. Located in downtown Banff, the location could not be any better. And they have free parking if you're rocking a hire car. I love how cozy and gorgeous this hotel feels with the stone and timber throughout. The room is incredibly spacious with everything you could possibly need for your stay, including a balcony, a separate bedroom, and even a cozy fireplace. Plus there are hot tubs and a sauna on the rooftop. I really love staying here and I would definitely recommend it. Now just a few quick tips for you if you are planning a trip to Banff in the winter. To get here, I flew with Air Canada to Calgary and they were great. I caught the Banff Airporter from Calgary to Banff, which made transfer nice and easy before I was able to collect my hire car. It's pretty cold here in winter and I didn't have proper snow gear with me because I travel all the time. Um, so instead I just got some rentals for the week and I did that through snow tips backtracks and one last tip you guys I needed to get an electronic travel authorization or ETA sorted before I flew to Canada I just applied online and it was approved nice and fast it cost me under 10 Canadian dollars I'll have all of this linked below for you like an album cover. <laughs> so we've ordered some sashimi that's come out. It is so thick. Look at this piece of tuna. It's like a mini tuna steak. Yeah. We are not messing you around. That up. It looks so cool though. This place is really cool again. I'm getting the sense that Banff restaurants in general are really, really cool. They all kind of have like a bit of a 
almost like a retro vibe to them, either 1920s, 70s, whatever it is, everything is kind of that classic cool. Now this one feels more 70s to me. We've got this great fire pit we're sat in front of. They're actually going to put us at a different table and we're like, no, we will sit for the fire pit. You can order everything to share. We've got some whiskey highballs for old time's sake. <laughs> Wasabi highballs. Wasabi highballs. If you saw the Okinawa episode, you know. Mm. I feel like you can't go wrong with food in Memphis. It's all so delicious. And I have to tell you, I don't need anything else to eat. I've eaten so much today, but yeah. dang, it's good. Mm. Oh, <laughs> It has been an early start today. We got some breakfast to go from Wildflower Bakery in Banff. And then we made our way to Alpine Air Adventures. Oh my gosh, I'm out of breath. <laughs> well, we got all kitted up because today we are going ice climbing. So we jumped in the car with our amazing guy, Jeff, and he drove us out here to Johnston Canyon. And that is why I'm out of breath. <laughs> We are currently doing a 45 minute walk through the canyon to reach the frozen waterfall which we will be climbing today with ice picks and special things on our shoes and all kinds of wonderful gear. Now I have to tell you, this walk through Johnston Canyon, it is worth doing. I have done this in summer, it was packed full of people, it was very very beautiful. But I have to tell you, now in winter, it is spectacular. So even if you decided that you weren't quite game for some ice climbing, I would recommend coming out here anyway. Ice climbing spot. <laughs> James just got caught in his backpack. We've made it to the ice climbing spot. This is part of it. <laughs> you don't have to just be a Jeff. This is our guy, Jeff. <laughs> He's having a snack before we get started. But there's more over here. Let me show you. This is going to be fine for beginners like us. I've done some climbing in some places, but this feels like a different animal. <laughs> Look at this up here. Whoa! People are just sending it up there. So. Look, we're gonna start off easy. Got the GoPro, got some cookies. <laughs> All filled up on chocolate chip cookies. Ready to go. Climbing makes you so hungry. So for dinner tonight, we've come to a place called Block, and James has ordered a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> He's pulled up Fred Flintstone, Barney Rubble. He's got animal legs to eat. If you're climbing ice all day, this is what you need. After a big day on the ice. Um, I have got a mix of stuff. So this place does some really great small plates, which is exactly like, I just want to eat lots of different little things. It's hard to describe what the cuisine is. It's kind of like some kind of Asian food fusion. I got some takoyaki. I love takoyaki. Fowl bun, some spicy salmon pate. But this bao bun is really what I've been waiting for. It's like a smoky chili tofu. I got uh, pork belly. Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> 
it's immediately good. <laughs> like a coconut sauce on it? Do you also that? <coughs> yeah, spicy though. Like a spicy coconut sauce. <laughs> What's it? Spicy coconut. <laughs> it's so good. Alright you guys, well, that really brings this week's episode to a close. I hope you've enjoyed it. Now if you don't already, be sure to subscribe right now so you never miss a single episode. And say hello in the comments below. I hope you have a great weekend and I will see you with a brand new Canada winter things to do in BIP activities video next week. Love ya.